So you just downloaded Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World and you're wondering how you should start off. Today I'll be explaining which constructed deck you should be grabbing as a beginner player. Now, before we begin, I just want to let you know I am live at twitch.tv forward slash jferno playing the game right now. You can find the link in the description. And I have left a code in this video for you to redeem on the game. So good luck finding that. Uh, and let me know if you did redeem it. With that said, let's get into this guide. There are four to choose from. The starter deck, Sun Goku, Vegeta, Brawly, and Freezer, each having their own unique play style. One thing you want to consider is the booster pack, which is the Awakened Pulse set at the moment, as well as how many gems you currently have and will have in the future. Of course, if you are going to be spending a lot of money on this game, you can get whatever you want. I'm sure you will eventually get all of the starter decks. Most of the starter decks, if not all of the starter decks, you want two copies of, since you want to get double copies of the strongest beater in their game. So in this case, Freezer has the Golden Freezer. Broly has the 8 Energy Broly. The Vegeta has the 5 Energy Super Saiyan Vegeta. And then the Goku has the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And there are other cards in here that you might want four of, such as the Sun Goku for the Goku and the Kamameha. You maybe want four of these. And unfortunately, the starter deck only contains two of. So in, so in order to make the most optimal deck, you want to get four of. And that goes the same with the Vegeta with the Gallic Gun for the 15,000 power. Brawly, you might want four of the Turluses and four of the Gigantic Meteor. And Freezer, you might want four of the Death Balls. So what's good is that the game provides you with one free ticket in order to get the starter deck. And then future starter decks will cost 400 gems. And if you also did do the pre-registration campaign reward, you would have gotten 300 gems as well. And they did a maintenance here, which allowed you to get an extra 100 gems as well. So that means that you should have another 400 gems in order to buy another structure deck of your choice. Now, if you can only purchase two structure decks, my recommendation is going to be Freezer. His deck is the most friendly to use, especially with the Freezer as the leader. And he does not require too many additional cards from the booster pack set in order to be pretty good. While the others, I feel like in order to achieve their highest of heights, you do need to get some of the cards in the booster packs. And unfortunately, each booster pack does cost 100 gems, which is a quite a bit. And not to mention, you need four of some of the cards that are very important. And if you do want to upgrade the Freezer deck, it is not the most unlikely thing to get from the Awakened Pulse, since there are no yellow secret rares in the game at the moment, which means that you don't have to worry about a 0.01% pull chance and not alone getting multiple of them. And the only thing that you're looking for is maybe the special rares in here, which aren't even the biggest game changes, but are very nice to have. And then the only real good card that you can immediately add to the game, into the deck, is the Supernova, which is a 20,000 power skill. And most of the other yellow cards are like Ginyu Force cards, which you'll be needing multiple copies of. So you'll be opening a lot of packs. In reference, I've opened like 50 packs already and I still don't have the required cards I need to build a Ginyu Force team. But with that said, I'm not trying to stop you from using any other decks. So if you do enjoy using the red deck, then that is completely fine. If all honestly, red is pretty easy to upgrade since most of the red cards in the booster pack actually works really well. There's not really like another version of red in some sense. And same as blue, most of the lo a lot of the blue cards in the set actually works really well with the starter deck and you don't need to like start hunting for four copies of everything. I would say the most pay to win deck though in this game is going to be the Brawly. There's a lot of important rares, uncommons in the, in the set that is green that you want four of. And so you'll be needing a lot of gems in order to make a really good Brawly deck or a green deck since you convert into the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan leader. But hopefully this helped you out. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'm live right now at twitch.tv forward slash jfanta. First link in the description. And check out my Discord also down there as well. That said, I'll see you guys in the next one.